So the Betfred Cambridgeshire is next, a nine furlong not to one ten handicap. The first leg of the old autumn double. And let's take a look at the field. It's Mick Eager at the top for Derek Hinton, Golden 60, Dan Hughes, Trapanga Lavella, Darren Thompson, Milan's Richard Dan Hughes, El Paso Intrigue, Vinnie Gerard, Toffee, Greg Beckwith, Little Black Bear, Paul Rhodes, Maritza de Souls and Padre Hogan, Orders Ronaldo, Derek Hinton, Humanity's Saviour, Leon Van Rensburg, Purple Noise for Craig Allen, Yuletide for Stu Gray, Festival of Rain, Obi-Wan, Proud Tarquin, Kevin Minahan, Very Special, Daniel French and German Street. For Martin Lido at the bottom. So 16 then. Pay you out on fourth. All installed and ready to go. And away we go. I don't know why they saying that. Pay you out on fourth now because most bookmakers pay out on about the first eight if you take the odds that off of you. Anyway, right over on the far side, it's Festival of Rain who's gone off into the lead. From Milan's Richard in second, and then Toffee is third. And Little Black Bear and Proud Tarquin. And the one taken off its feet at the moment is the Grey El Paso Intrigue. But well, we've seen how those Vinnie Gerard horses can finish, so don't rule that one out just yet. And it's Festival of Rain for Obi-Wan, who's clear at the moment by about four lengths or so. Racing alone up the centre of the track. The rest of them are pretty closely grouped and spread across the track at the same time, if that makes any sense. And it's Festival of Rain who leads. We've only got them into two sort of groups this season. I remember a few seasons ago, we had about... 25 in this and they were spread right across the track, a group on the far side, a group on the near side and a group in the middle. But it's Festival of Rain who continues to lead at the moment from Mick Eager, one of those new Hollywood Hinton horses who seem to have rocket fuel inside them. In comes Trapanga Lavella and very special purple noises next him. Milan's richer and suddenly Festival of Rain is being swamped by challengers. Maritza de Solzen down this near side. Also Proud Tarquin coming through with a good looking run. Three furlongs to go. Festival of Rain still trying to repel Raiders from purple noise. Proud Tarquin, Maritza de Solzen, Milan's richer. Mick Egan, there's plenty of chances but they haven't got past Festival of Rain yet. Two furlongs to go. Festival of Rain is in the lead from Proud Tarquin, Humanity's Saviour is now coming through with a run. Mick Eager is now making a forward run. Purple Noise is there as well. Richard the Soul's done this near side still, but it's still Festival of Rain past the furlong pole. Festival of Rain from Mick Eager and Purple Noise. Humanity's Saviour, Trapanga Lavella is coming through with a run now as well. Humanity's Saviour begins to get up on the outside, bursting through his El Paso Intrigue, and El Paso Intrigue has won it. And not this big, I'm betting in running what price would El Paso Intrigue have been. At the beginning, I'm sure some of you sitting there thinking I knew that was going to happen and I'd seen it before I commented on it, but I can tell you now, I certainly didn't. And I've just seen so many of those Vinnie Gerard horses do that. And El Paso Intrigue for Vinnie Gerard takes the Cambridge year. One or two of those never got into that race at all. Very special Daniel French was second. Humanity Saver Leon Van Rinsburg was third. Trapanga Lavella Darren Thompson fourth. And the long-time leader Festival of Rain for Obi-Wan was fifth.